Let's go to Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is where, this is the year where you are revived. This is the year where you get spiritual enlightenment. And sometimes, I mean, Jupiter is, isn't quite as rigid like Saturn. But Jupiter demands a lot because Jupiter demands that you grow. And if you, when you grow, generally there's growing pains. This is what I've observed. And so, yes, this is a good year. Yes, you're going to get the best blessings you've ever gotten in a lot of ways. But, yeah, I know, I put the butt in there. Um, well, you're a Scorpio. Of course I did. <laughs> um, you have to recognize your own ability to create good and harm. Now, Mars is in Scorpio, so this has been energizing you. And with Jupiter, it expands Mars's power, so you can get physically strong. You can get really... And, you know, Mars' purpose is generally to get rid of evil. It's Lord of the Earth. In Vedic studies, so it's like working in the garden, and, like, a lot of times you can start planting bare root trees, you know, for the winter, and then they'll root in the spring, and it's a really nice thing. And um, Venus and Saturn... And Sun transiting your third house. It's about your siblings. It's about old friends from college, high school, elementary school, and before. And, um, and cousins and your community, your neighbors. And making connections with your environment. These are all good things. And you've got a little more power. you got a little more juice. Woo! Feeling the juice, you know. And, I mean, you're going to love Christmas. I mean, Christmas is going to be in your fifth house. You're going to be generous. You're going to be fun. You're going to be creative. You're going to be all of it. You're going to owe, owe to be a Scorpio this Christmas. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm-mm-mm.